what will be the subjects order you have to follow okay. the first one to get preparation now please let me know what are the subjects order you you suggest because a person to person it will change yes that is right? i asked i asked so many toppers right so in my experience different people said different okay. right you say in your opinion what is the order you feel okay so i think uh, one can start with so uh, so since uh, many people who uh, uh, prepare for gate they are in their college i think uh, uh, so i'll give very first very uh, very uh, what should i say very uh, overview of how you can one can that one can, can do this so i think the first thing anyone can do this is better rather start with algo or dgs because that's when that start in i think second year of the people uh, second year of uh, mostly uh, the yeah the bachelor's courses so rather start with something which you have already studied and then you are for when you are uh, actually doing a dedicated preparation for the gate you will have you are kind of doing a second uh, revision and also you might get some insights as to what you might have left while you studied uh, uh, it in your college so that is one thing and yeah so algo ds is i think something which one can start maybe uh, start with and then once they get confidence they can start with uh, they can uh, then go for coa and then operating system and uh, i would i didn't say engineering math because i was uh, not really strong in that but if people uh, think that that is their strong suit then they can also uh, actually uh, once they have started uh, the uh, algo or ds they can actually in parallel if they are doing some simultaneous uh, two courses or subjects at a time they can also do engineering math along with it that is also kind of helpful and in order i think tos i think um, one thing one dependency that exists is i think toc should be studied before compiler because compiler uses some concepts of toc if i'm not wrong and uh, uh, yeah toc should be done after that algo ds is okay computer architecture and os they are also both different so yeah they can also be independent and but yeah very uh, like i would say that whatever one has studied they should Most study of that things are independent only i think uh, toc should be done first afterwards cd this yes, is the only dependency remaining all will be any order can be done any order yeah th that's true hmm. so i think uh, there is no proper order you can follow whatever order you like there is no objection mm -hmm. right but toc cd do toc first then cd yes right fine yeah, yeah. That, is, that is the order so yeah in uh, right i can suggest the order little bit by seeing the so many people so you can go for the algorithm right programming data structure yes. the one set whether you do first or middle or last you do wherever you want that is the one set if you start starting only because of the computer science somehow they will come again and again indirectly yes. So let's complete that one first. Next one, I think uh, you can go for discrete mathematics. Yeah. Because you will see where combinations concept will come. Yeah. Right? That, okay. Yeah. That, that is used in algorithm. Uh, so uh, computer science and discrete mathematics, you cannot de divide. So I think uh, yeah. third yeah. one after algorithm, programming, data structure, the next one is the discrete mathematics. And one more thing is the uh, aptitude is having the good scoring and all 15 marks. It is better yeah, to start absolutely. early so that you can do practice also. So yeah. I think, uh, right, uh, the next one should be aptitude you can keep. Uh, next one is your TOC CD. Next one is the operating system, That's computer right. network, uh, database management system, and DLD, right? Uh, COA, you, you, yes. you can do all these things in any order. Yes. right all these things because there is no relation also you can do any order whatever way you feel you can do next one basic mathematics it is up to you because it's a mathematics you can do wherever you want okay right so i'm reading the order algorithm programming data structure discrete mathematics next one is going to be toc cd right operating system database management right computer network dld coa and uh, right basic mathematics mm -hmm. Most probably it is the order. So I think it is a person to person, it will change also. When they have to start the gate preparation? Uh, okay, uh, so I started late, but since uh, uh, if now people, uh, now students can give uh, the gate exam in their third year itself, 
I think one third year itself. So yeah, so it's uh, like approximately in the midst of the third third year. If I'm not wrong, so they people can start at the end of the second year. Yeah, that that's the best place to. So uh, just a year before that, they they have their first attempt, and what it helps is uh, it's not too early. People can actually uh, take some time, and then after they have gone to BTEC, they can maybe spend two years, and then maybe second year they can start. And uh, by that time, they have also covered some of the gate uh, uh, gate subjects also. If I'm not wrong, Algo DS is covered by that time, and uh, sometimes TOC also. So that is like I think that is the ideal time to start, and by the uh, third year, one attempt actually gives you an idea about how your preparation is, and then yeah. So I think, uh, my, I think it's very important to start at least before uh, the third attempt, not after, because yeah, you don't want to like delay uh, after your. So you don't want to be in my place where you just will go for a drop, or, uh, yeah, to take a drop. So yeah, better because of not right in the fourth year, right? Unfortunately, you are you are not up to the mark. Then you will return the fifth year also. One year is a delay, right? If at all, yes. if at all you tried in the third year itself, then that one year could not have been spoiled. Huh? Yes. At that that's time, it is not there, so you don't have that opportunity. So people, right? Whoever, whoever want to prepare the gate examination, I strongly advise, right? Go, go second year itself for preparation. Third year itself, try to crack. Yeah. If at all, unfortunately, it is missed out, right? Maybe fourth year you can, uh, right? You can correct the error. Yeah, that's true. That is the best approach. Many people are doing nowadays bullshit. Many people are doing like that only. Second year itself, they are yeah. starting. Third year itself, they are getting the nice rank. Fourth year, they are doing the project. Fourth year, they are doing the placement stuff. Yeah, that is good because yeah. then they will have a backup. Yeah, backup also there, and they will get the nice placement. They can keep in their resume also. Yeah. Right, so I think the third, second year is the best idea. So, in okay. those people who are watching this particular session, my strong appeal to everyone: if you want to write gate exam, please start preparation from second year. Right, further also you can do, but it is going to be little difficult. You may be little bit of losing okay. sight, but everything is possible in life. Right, you can do anything at any time. Some will take a good way. Some some will give the good results. Some will give bad results. Right, some experience will come, but suggestion is through experience. I'm saying second year onwards, you can start preparing. Yes. Right, Bolshan also want to say similar. Right, yeah, but yeah. that time th th third year you cannot write, so otherwise you could have written. Right, yeah, and yeah. other right? so, uh, you could have avoided one year wastage. But even though he wasted one year, but he got fourth rank. He done the wonderful thing. You utilize. Yeah, yeah. Ask I was fortunate enough. Yeah. yeah. I asked the question that time for one year, are you do you think is it worth it? He said that, right? Because of that one year only. Now, now I am doing the almost like 50 lakh package. Almost yeah, is yeah. it. Yeah, right? something of that side. Yeah. Right. So he got the one year hard work he done. He got the nice rank. He went to the nice in right, nice institute event. He got the very good placement. Now he is almost like 50 lakh package. So if you are watching this video. Right, my suggestion is start preparing from second year. Right, that is a what Gulshan want to say. Can you help me, Gulshan, when you are preparing the second attempt? So lot of tension will be there, right? You may get, yes. you may not get a lot of tension. So how exactly you planned last six months? Okay, I'll tell that. So yeah, so I think that when when the last six months came, I still had not completed my all uh, all the subjects. I was doing it, but now I made sure that because since it's last six months, I had this thing in mind that whatever I'm going to miss now, I might not have the time to do it again. So what I made a point was whatever subjects I'm completing, all the PYQs of that subject, I I completed after that subject is complete or one. As Reddys are always tells uh, if I'm if people watch him regularly that complete topic by topic, not by subject. So if, so once a topic is complete, I would try to complete all the PYQs uh, related to that topic, and mostly at least uh, if not if if I could not complete that, what I was my at least uh, my uh, I would try was that whenever a subject is complete, take some time and then complete all the PYQs maybe 
at the end you might not get that time to complete all the pyqs because i would say that pyqs are uh, i think for cracking gate i think pyqs are all that you need if you if you have a good practice in pyqs and what one can also do is uh, uh, yeah and then revi revision so once the last 3 months period comes when the test series are there so one thing i heard and i i think that is not uh, that is one of the right approaches is once that three months come uh, the last three months come you cannot you, you uh, by the time you might have a lot of notes here so you cannot revise all the notes just one day before a test or a test series that you are giving rather what you can do is all the uh, questions that you have solved for all the pyqs that you have solved for one subject you just mark out what mistakes that you have done before every test just take three or four hours before that just revise all the mistakes that that you did because rather than new mistakes sometimes in my first attempt i realized that i did a lot of silly mistakes a lot of mistakes that i was repeating uh, as i was uh, that uh, that was repeating from the test series so what one can do is uh, by the, all the pyqs if you have solved or let's say you have solved 100 pyqs you know that 20 pyqs you have uh, had it wrong usually it's not 20 30 actually just go through it whatever mistakes you did rather than seeing the answer just see why you did it wrong and uh, and if if you're doing if you're not reading the question properly focus on reading the question properly if there is something in the concept that you're al always you're uh, making uh, like doing it wrong then focus on th those concepts so that way it's faster it's faster than revision and that way you're also uh, not making the same mistakes again so i'd say that and then attempt the test series um attempt as many test series as possible but take time to analyze the test series also don't be in such a hurry that, uh, that you're just solving questions and not even analyzing because i would say a lot of uh, you get a lot you learn a lot from analyzing your mistakes uh, because sometimes you are not even aware of uh, you will think that you know some things and but you in the exam you are uh, in the time in the time frame that you are given you are making those very silly mistakes or yeah something of that sort better to analyze those mistakes and give some time for it um, yeah writing that's, that's what I'm analyzing writing test and analyzing yes that's that true. any mistakes they done writing in the notes yeah make that's one, true notes, make one notes make one notes right mistakes notes write yeah that's true so subject wise write out all the mistakes what you are doing before going to write any test right revise those mistakes that is true So uh, that, in my that, notebook, actually, in the yeah, so in my notebook, the index page is there, right? In the index page, I wrote down all the uh, so the page number and what question I had done wrong, and that's just just one line or four words about what mistake it was. So I and then uh, so yeah, something of that sort. So I can know okay what so if I have to just revise it properly, I just go through all the mistakes, all the questions that I was doing. Mm -hmm. In all the test series, whatever you written, Wilson. You got at any time first rank? Oh, never. I would say never. Not even top ten. Never. I have never got top ten even. So if there are, there are usually three hundred, four hundred, five hundred people usually attempting. Sometimes one thousand people, but never I did I get something better than ten or twenty. What was the best rank you got in that test series? I think somewhere around. Uh, I think one of the tests I got eleventh or twelfth rank. I think that was the best out of. Out of eight hundred or nine hundred students, if I'm not wrong, okay. That yeah. What is the worst rank you got? Oh, worst rank. It might have. So, I think it was a subject test, and I was bad in one subject. If I don't remember, was it computer networks or some subject? But I, there, I got hundred and twenty out of eight hundred. Not. Oh, I cannot tell. But it was something on the lines near hundred. so when you realized that you got the you you are going to get top 10 right when yes. you realize it after gate exam or before gate exam okay so so my gate exam was very um, so i was devastated after my gate exam even after my second exam i thought it was the, the worst and it was just a week ago so so yeah for for the for uh, context i just want to tell people who are watching that i was uh, even in my dream. so yeah I, my best rank that i thought was something around 100 120 100 that was my the best i thought that even if i get that i had completed that one year was worth it just i think a week before the exam i thought i got to know that something around top 10 was coming because usually that year the gate 
was low scoring if you see nowadays uh, the gate mm-hmm. exam people mm-hmm. are scoring near 90 or writing 90 plus people are getting now so, people now getting 95 so 93 like that right yes. uh, in 2022 yeah it is a one or two years back only so that time yes. 80 is that top 80 82 was like that yes that was i think very low scoring exam when we gave so i was not expecting that sort of rank but uh, after the answer keys came even then by then i was very devastated by that time i thought i had messed up the exam it was going to be really bad and uh, but yeah by the time answer key came i i got to know that i was getting something 70 plus and i had heard that so i was very specific about the college i thought if i get the best rank i would try for iisc iisc was my dream so what i did was i got to know it is 70 plus i was very happy uh, so i thought whatever rank i am getting i don't care i am getting into this institute that's what matters for me okay. so you never thought of fourth rank no no yeah never actually when the day uh, the day when it was announced i think it was the midnight when someone told me that ranks are announced that's yes, when yeah. i got to know it was so it was a shock it was very shocking for me but yes uh, yeah but very good very good